Mayor, Mayor, I'd like to call to order the regular meeting of the Elmwood Park Mayor and Council for February 18, 2021 to order at 7.01 p.m. On roll call, Council Members Balistrieri. Here. Ficori. Here. Fasolo. Here. Golabek. Present. Pellegrin. Here. Council President Wetchler. Here. Mayor Coletti. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you, Erin. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, it's good to see live bodies in our ordinance here. Uh, considering we have the snow, uh, this is a very good turnout. We have some surprises for you tonight. So let's get started. If everyone can please stand for our flag and prayer. We'll start with our prayer. Oh God, we ask you to bless our meeting, which we entrust to your care and protection. Please remove all selfishness and prejudice from our hearts and implants there, therein a keen sense of justice and a greater love for you and our neighbor. Guide us in our deliberations so that our decisions will always please you and bring you peace and happiness to our community. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whereas chapter 231 of the public laws of the state of New Jersey require at the commencement of every meeting a statement of compliance be read by the presiding officer. Now, therefore, be advised that that meeting requirement for this meeting have been met by publishing an annual notice in the record in Herald News of Woodland Park and by posting such notice in the office of the borough clerk as well as in a public place within the municipal building and by notifying interested citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, the, barrels, uh, the notice was posted on January 8th, 2021 and published on January 13th, 2021. Uh, this meeting is being videotaped and will be on cable vision channel 77 on Monday at 3 p.m. and Thursday at 11 a.m. The video will also be available on the Barrow's website at www.elmwoodparknj.us. Erin. Thank you, Mayor. First on the agenda this evening, we have the approval of minutes. January 7, 2021 reorganization meeting, January 14th work session and executive session meetings, January 21st regular and executive session meetings, and then February 4th, special work session and executive session meetings. May I have a motion on the minutes? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. First by Pellegrin, second by Fasolo on roll call. Council members Balistrieri? Yes. Ficori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Council President Wetchler? Yes. Motion carries. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special celebration this evening. So with that being said, I will turn the floor over to Mayor Robert Coletti. Why, thank you, young lady. This is probably not a mystery. It's something you've heard in the last couple of weeks uh, many times. Uh, it's been throughout the nation in terms of news coverage. Uh, there was an incident where we had uh, our chief in our, our fire department uh, rescue a lady and her child from the Passaic River, icy conditions, and they were still out on a river, which I don't understand. But putting that aside, uh, we're here to celebrate uh, the people that made that possible. So ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, I will call up a key component of that rescue, Mr. Mike Feligno.
Well, it's, uh, it's nice to say that Elmwood Park's got its own Audie Murphy. Next, ladies and gentlemen, we want to celebrate another person who was involved in that rescue. And we're going to bring him up, Captain Tyler Lewinsky. Okay, excuse me for the delay. Uh, the council, let's uh, start with the, Doris, would you like to say something in regards to uh, what has happened? I sit up here tonight as a council person, but I was born and raised in East Patterson, Elmwood Park. This is my life. This is where I was born. My kids were raised here. I was married here, went to school here. Let me tell you, I consider Mike my hero. And I consider every every one of you as the fire department, the police department, as angels for this town. Because without you really being here, this town wouldn't be nothing. 
So I pray every night that Jews are safe, come home safe to your families, and congratulations. Thank you. Mrs. Mrs. Ballesteri. Hey, Chief Feligno, this very proud moment for our Elmwood Park community. I'm not in any way surprised by your heroic actions. I'm sure this was a moment where your adrenaline hit its high, but training and compassion took over in a split second. Thank you, Chief, for all you do for all of us. I'd like to also congratulate Captain Lewinsky. Your heroic act did not go unnoticed as a first responder. You never know what your day will bring. It was a time like this that your courage and actions were put to a test. Thank you for assisting in the rescue of two lives. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Shaqib Fakori. Mayor, um, I wasn't born in this town, but I was born in North Africa. So for some of you that don't know a little bit of geography, but anyway, um, I want to thank the chief for the tremendous work. Um, but I want to thank all of you. Um, I see Scott here, DPW, the fire department, the police department. You have no idea how great of a job you do. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm grateful to you guys. Thanks again. Mrs. Pellegrin. Yes. Good evening, everyone. Tonight we honor two heroes, Chief Michael Feligno and Fire Captain Tyler Lewinsky. On February 4th, 2021, Mike and Tyler together, along with the help of all our first responders, saved a mother and her child from drowning in the Passaic River. The definition of a hero is one who risks their own life to save others. Mike and Tyler certainly are heroes. Without their quick thinking and courageous actions, there could have been a tragic ending to this story. We are grateful for that the mom and child were saved. Our community is extremely proud of what Chief Feligno and Captain Lewinsky did to save this mother and child. On a personal note, I've worked with Chief Feligno as police commissioner for the last three years. Mike puts his heart and soul into helping others. I have personally witnessed this so many times. When doors are closed to help one of our residents, he perseveres until the problem is solved. I've learned many things from Mike over the years. One, when you think you've done all you can, reach deeper and try harder. Lead by example. Don't expect anyone to respect you if you're not leading with integrity. Always, always remember we are a team. And when we work together, we can and will accomplish so much more. God bless you, Chief. Our residents are thankful for a man like you who leaves our community with honesty, integrity, and willingness to put others first. Thank you, Mike, for all you do. Thank you, Mrs. Pelligan. Mr. Golobeck. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, you know, before I thank you guys individually, um, you know, I, I had the opportunity to see some of the body cam footage um, from that day, and it was, I mean, it could be its own thriller documentary in itself, what went down. Um, few other pieces to this, um, the person that called 911 who got this whole thing started, uh, the gentleman across the street at the gas station who had this plastic kayak that ended up being the, the life-saving thing, um, the, all the fire department that showed up, the police department, the Patterson Fire Department, all these pieces that helped this. Um, to Tyler, I, you know, I know firefighting has been your passion since high school. Um, you know, I look at every quarterly report, you make like almost... 100% of the calls, you know, and I'm sure there's times where you're tired or do, out doing something, you, you still show up. Um, you know, and this isn't your first save. I remember a few years back at the Red Carpet Inn where you pulled a woman out of the second floor of a burning building um, and you saved her life. And now you helped save two lives and you're not even, you know, halfway through your 20s. So, you know, amazing. God bless you and thank you for that. Um, to Chief Feligno, I don't know many people that would do what you did. Um, it, it's really the, you know, a, a test of the moment. Um, so I, I thank you. I'm proud of you. Um, you know, and just so your family knows, you know, not only should be proud of, of, of Mike Chief Feligno for what he did, but for what he does every day for Elmwood Park. He bleeds Elmwood Park. Um, and there's, I can't think of, more, I, you know, I can count on one hand the amount of people who care about this town as much as Chief Feligno. So I thank you both, and um, thank you. Well, I think. Uh, much to be Mayor, said, Mayor. Mr. Fasolo. Mayor, I know you always forget me, but come on. I just wanted to see if you were still there or not. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Please, Chief, Mr. Fasolo. Thank you. 
Chief Foligno and Captain Lewinsky, tonight we're honoring your heroic acts. These, results, these acts resulted in the saving of two lives, one being a child's. Although these acts are heroic and deserve our full recognition, I want to recognize a trait in both of you that sometimes may get lost in all of this. It's your ability to stay humble and recognize your entire department every time you're recognized personally. And we saw it again here tonight. Captain Lewinsky said in, in the CNN report that without everybody on shore, he would never be able to get back. And Chief Foligno said in the same report that there's no need for thanks, he's just doing his job. Your selflessness, courage, and heroic acts were amplified by this single instance. You both went, be, you both went beyond the call of duty. However, knowing you both, I know that you both go beyond the call of duty every day. But this time, fortunately, the world was able to see it and witness the remarkable first responders we have here in our small community. Thank you, and God bless you both. Thank you, Mr. Fasola. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all the praise uh, you have received tonight, M Michael, is, is highly warranted. Uh, You just don't plan these things, you just do them. God's hands were with you and the supporting cast along with Tyler on the shoreline and bringing this event to a happy conclusion. And that's all I have to say on the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, if you'd like to stay a little while, that's fine. 15 minutes and we will be back. We also have refreshments for everyone. Okay, to reestablish quorum, I'd like to call the meeting back to order on roll call council members Balistrieri. Here. Fakori, Fasolo, here. Golubek, here. Pellegrin, here. Council President Wetchler, here. Mayor Coletti, here. We have another quorum. Moving on, I will begin with ordinances being read on second reading. Resolution R-76-21. Introduce ordinance number 21-02 on second reading, whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the borough of Elwood Park, more specifically chapter three, police regulation, article 3-9A, parking of commercial vehicles in a residential area during certain hours prohibited, sections 3-9A.1 prohibited. Where said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, January 21st, 2021, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same. Now therefore be resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the borough of Elmwood Park, more specifically chapter three, police regulation, article 3-9A, parking of commercial vehicles in residential areas during certain hours prohibited, section 3-9A.1 prohibited, pass on final reading. Michael, could you break this down for us, please? Yes, Mayor. This is an amendment to an existing ordinance, uh, which we're gonna allow, uh, I'm sorry, prohibit certain vehicles, oversized vehicles from uh, parking in private driveways. Okay. May I have a motion to open to the public? Second. All in favor? Okay. Call the roll, please. You have to call the roll on that. All right. No. All in favor, aye. So now we. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone from the public care to speak? On this uh, issue, and no other issue. If not, I'll close the public portion. On roll call. I'm sorry, Mayor. Can you ask for a motion? May I have a motion? Second. First by Wetchler, second by Balistrieri. On roll call, Council Members Balistrieri. Yes. Fakori. Yes. Fasolo. Yes. Golubek. Yes. Pellegrin. Yes. Council President Wetchler. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to resolution R-77-21, introduced ordinance number 21-03 on second reading, whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the borough of Elmwood Park, more specifically chapter seven, traffic, article 7-15.1, parking prohibited during certain hours, whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held 
on Thursday, January 21st, 2021, and that further consideration of this ordinance will be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend the code of the Borough of Elmwood Park, more specifically, Chapter 7, Traffic, Article 7-15.1, parking prohibited during certain hours, pass on final reading. May I have a motion to open to the public? Second. Would anyone from the public here to uh, speak on this matter? If not, I'll close the public portion. May I have a motion to adopt, please? Second. Any discussion? Call the roll. First by Council President Wetchler, second by Fasolo on roll call Council Members Balasheri. Yes. Fakori. Yes. Fasolo. Yes. Golobek. Yes. Pellegrin. Yes. Council President Wetchler. Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to resolution R-78-21, introduced ordinance number 21-04 on second reading. Whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend chapter two administration, more specifically article three of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park titled department of the local government, more specifically section 2-27 entitled police department, more specifically section 2-27.1 entitled creation of the department members. Whereas said ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, February 4th, 2021, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same, now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend chapter two administration, more specifically article three of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park titled department of the local government, more specifically section 2-27 entitled Police Department, more specifically Section 2-27.1, entitled Creation of the Department Members, pass on final reading. Michael, could you break this down for us? Sure, Mayor. This is simply uh, an addition to the table of organization by two police officers, so expanding from 47 to 49. Okay. May I have a, a motion to open to the public? Second. Anyone from the public here to speak on this? If not, I will close the public portion. May I have a, a motion to adopt the ordinance? Second. second. Call the roll, please. First by Council President Wetchler, second by Pellegrino on roll call, Council Members Balistrieri. Recuse. Fakori. Yes. Fasolo. Yes. Golobek. Yes. Pellegrino. Yes. Council President Wetchler. Yes. Motion carries. Now moving on to a loan resolution for this evening resolution r-79-21 appoint police officer andre segovia be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of elmwood park that the following name being is hereby appointed as a police officer in the police department of the borough of elmwood park effective february 19 2021 andre segovia be it further resolved that remuneration is set at the rate as per the 2018 through 2025 pba contract effective march 15 2018. Uh, may I have a motion on the resolution? Second. second. First by Council President Wetchler, second by Pellegrin. On roll call, Council Members Balistrieri. I recuse only because I have a family member working for the police department. Fakori. Yes. Fasolo. Yes. Golobek. Yes. Pellegrin. Yes. Council President Wetchler. Yes. Motion carries. At this time, if Mr. Segovia can please join us on the dais alongside his family, if there's anyone here, to be sworn in by Mayor Robert Coletti alongside Chief Feligno and Police Commissioner Lorraine Pellegrin. Had the opportunity to interview him, and uh, I think he's going to do a great job. Uh, as our chief always says, get the right people it seems. So, all right, let's get you sworn in. I, I, Andre Segovia, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. The Constitution of the United States, the United States, and the Constitution, and the Constitution 
of the state of New Jersey. Of the state of, of the state of New Jersey. That I will bear true faith. That I bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties. All the duties. Of the office of. Of the office of. Police officer. Police officer. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I'm going to go around the horn, a brief commentary. I'm going to start with you so I can't forget you. You know what it is? I'm so used to just looking up here. You, you, you know? I'm going to ask uh, for council comments on uh, our new police officer. Mr. Fasolo. Officer Segovia, welcome to the team. Uh, as you can see from tonight, you're joining really a world-class uh, organization uh, here in Elmwood Park. Uh, I, want you, I want to wish you the best in your career and, and safety always, and you're, you're led by a great chief. Um, if you ever need anything, the council's always behind the police uh, department. So congratulations and good luck. Councilman Fukori. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Officer Andres, I wish you luck. Um, now you're part of a team and you have a very good quarterback, so just bring it home. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Councilwoman Bellisteri. Well, I'd like to congratulate and welcome Officer Segovia. You have joined a family that you'll be proud to be part of. I wish you a safe career here in Elmwood Park. God bless you always. Councilman Golubek. Officer Segovia, congratulations, welcome, good luck. My only ask is that you serve our residents and the people that visit our town with the highest possible integrity every time you're out there. Thank you and good luck. Councilwoman Pellegrin. Yes, congratulations, Officer Segovia, to you and your family. I wish you a long, safe, and successful career here in Elmwood Park. You're joining a great department who truly cares about our community. Welcome to our team. Council President Wetchler. Short and sweet, you're in a great town. You got a great chief there. You got a great council working behind you. We're all for the blue. None of this stuff with the blue. And uh, you know you got our support. So uh, go with Godspeed. Mayor, before I proceed with the consent agenda, I am going to ask for a motion to pull resolution R-88-21, which is appointment of Board of Adjustment member, um, being that the individual names on the resolution just needs a little bit more time to get confirmation from work that she can serve on this board. So with that being said, can I entertain a motion to pull resolution R-88-21? I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. 
So R-88-21 will be held this evening, moving on with our consent agenda. R-80-21, approval of payroll. R-81-21, approval of bills list. R-82-21, authorized change order number two and current estimate number three and final. 2018 CDBG improvements to various streets. R-83-21, appoint special legal counsel. Santo T. Alampi, Esquire, Alampi and Demar Damaris. R-84-21, appoint borough planner, topology. R-85-21, authorize emergency standby fire department. R-86-21, appointment of special projects planner, DMR architects. R-87-21, appointment of firefighters. R-89-21, appointment of recreation advisory board member. R-90-21, appointment of recreation advisory board member. R-91-21, authorizing the Borough of Elmwood Park to enter into an agreement with the Borough of Fairlawn for the use of their Fairlawn Fire Department Training Center. R-92-21, recognizing June as LGBTQ Pride Month in the Borough of Elmwood Park. R-93-21, resignation of firefighters. R-94-21, authorized purchase of equipment, fire department. R-95-21, authorized purchase of equipment, fire department. R-96-21, appointment of risk manager, professional insurance associates. R-97-21, resolution to approve the consent agenda. May I have a motion on the consent agenda, please? Mayor, before you take the motion, could we vote on 9621 separately? Do the consent agenda and then pull that one and just vote on it as a standalone? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay, so for the record, we will be taking one roll call vote for resolutions R-80-21 through R-87-21 and then R-89-21 through R-95-21 and R-97-21. At 96 is PIA, correct? Is that on the cover sheet? Yes. Okay, thank you. May I have a motion on those items on the consent agenda? Motion, please. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll. First by Pellegrini, second by Fakori on roll call, council members Balistrieri. Which one am I voting on now? The top. 80 through 87, 89 through 95, and 97. Okay. Yes. Fakori. Thank you, Fasolo. I'm going to recuse on 85, 87, 91, 93, 94, and 95. Yes, and the rest. Golovac? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Council President Wetchler? Yes. Okay, motion carries on those items. Um, let me just pull that 96. R9621. Yes. Resolution R-96-21, appointment of risk manager, professional insurance associates, whereas it is necessary for the borough of Elmwood Park to retain the professional services of a risk management consultant for those insurance matters, property and casualty, worked compensation, property, excess liability, public officials liability, environmental liability, integral to the operation of the borough for calendar year 2021. And whereas such services are highly specialized in nature and exempt from formal bidding pursuant to the New Jersey Public Contracts Law and JSA 40A, colon 11-51, and whereas the contract amount for these services is 6% of the borough's annual GIF assessment, payable by the South Bergen Joint Insurance Fund directly to PIA, Inc., and whereas said contract in aggregate is above $17,500 as certified by the borough chief financial officer, and therefore such award be in compliance with the requirements set forth by PL 2004, Chapter 19, as amended by PL 2005C51 NJSA 19 colon 44A dash 20.5 at SEC, and whereas the mayor and council believe it is in the best interest of the borough to reappoint Professional Insurance Associates, Inc. as the borough's risk management consultant for 2021, 
Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Elmwood Park that Professional Insurance Associates, Inc. is hereby appointed as Risk Management Consultant for 2021 and that Mayor Robert Colletti and Borough Clerk Aaron Delaney are hereby authorized to execute the Risk Management Consultants Agreement in accordance with the bylaws of the South Bergen Municipal Joint Insurance Fund for the period ending December 31, 2021 or until a successor shall have qualified and be it further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be provided to Professional Insurance Associates, Inc., the Borough Chief Financial Officer and the Borough Auditor, and be it further resolved that a notice of said contract award stating the nature, duration, and services provided be published in accordance with NJSA 40A colon 11-51. We need a motion on this, correct? Correct. Motion, please. So Any discussion? Call the roll, please. First by Pellegrin, second by Wetchler. On roll call, Council Members Balistrieri? No. Facori? No. Fasolo? No. Golabek? No. Pellegrin? Yes. Council President Wetchler? Yes. Three, three. Mayor, we have three nays two ayes and one abstention so the motion the resolution fails three nays two yeas and, and one abstention one abstention all right i just like to say to the council that this is a uh it's a dark moment uh, this all smells with politics which you know i do not bring into this chamber don't expect to bring into this chamber uh mr covelli has been a loyal servant to this town for many years. Uh, some mistakes might have been made in between. And to kick him out after 20 years of good service doesn't sit right with me. <clears throat> Mayor, can I make a comment? Yes. Um, I don't know where the politics reference comes into. We've discussed this issue in executive at length. We all made different points. This is not out of thin air. There's things that happen and people could react to it the way I reacted to it, the way you react to it, no problem. But let's not pretend this is out of thin air, where there was a lot of substance here, where there's a lot of debate back and forth, and we've come to a crossroads. Yeah. You can kid yourself with that explanation, but you're not kidding me. I know exactly what's, what's happening here. So say what's happening. Prior, prior to, uh, to uh, the discussion of getting rid of Cove uh, Covelli, uh, you had brought another agency in here from Garfield that, out of the blue, even before there was a conversation about getting rid of them. So let's not kid ourselves. There, there was a lot of displeasure expressed prior to that moment. I didn't bring anyone from a specific town. The, the other person in question, the other firm, first of all, we're talking about firms here. We're not talking about individuals. You bring up a name. There's no names here. There's firms. The, the other firm handles our own district's insurance. I didn't bring anyone out of the blue. Let's not kid ourselves. Many of us up here who, I think a majority of us served on the Board of Ed, we've dealt with this yeah. insurance group, okay? We did not sign an agreement for 2021 with PIA. We rescinded their, the appointment for 2021, and now the council has rejected their appointment for 2021, which you put forward. In my opinion, it's, 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 it's just a closed subject. If the vote went a different way, I would be fine. Life goes on. No problem, okay? It's clear that PAA is not the risk manager for the Borough of Elmwood Park. There's one other firm that put in for this position, and I want to make a motion to appoint that firm because the borough needs a risk manager, and all options have been exhausted with the previous one. So I'm within my right at this time to make a motion. <clears throat> What's the name of that organization? Scirocco Group Incorporated. Is that the, the group that was you brought in here that night? That's the group that came in, and that's the group also yeah. that and now, put an RPM. Now RPM. you're telling me this isn't political. And, well, and, you and need to tell me how it's political. You need to put words behind your, your phrases. You no, have I, to. I, my, my words are strong words. But you have to put substance behind your words because you're being vague right well, now. The, there's the substance. The substance is what has occurred. You bring them in here out of the blue, we're not even discussing getting rid of Cavelli and company. And then now with a vote, you automatically want to bring them on board. What can I do to stop that? That's what I want to know. We have been through this numerous times. We were, all, we were going to make a change a few months ago, and then out of the blue, the RFP process came up, yeah. which is no problem. We went through that process. 
you, you put the, the name forward on the agenda as the mayor, it failed. And this is going on three or four months. We've had plenty of discussion on this subject. Well, I, th I, think, I think before before we go to a vote, there should be more discussion on this. I, I, Mayor, I respectfully disagree. This has been discussed. We've beaten this to death. We beat all the all of the details surrounding what we've talked about. We beat it to death in executive pretty much every single meeting. There's, there's not much more to discuss. This previous firm has been rejected three times now by the council. What more is there to do? It's simply the way, and you know, you bring up politics, Mayor, and that's not fair. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to watch a video from 2017 when you were the mayor, and I was a councilman. We hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. What are we, we're going that back to 217? Let's talk about tonight, okay, not 217. Allow, allow me. I don't even know what you're going to say. Well, I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Because it's important. It's important because I don't appreciate that kind of vague reference. That yeah, but don't give me your lawyer BS and, and try and change the subject. Sure stick to, stick mayor, to mayor, the, mayor, the objective here. You're four times. I'm asking you to speak. You can talk. There's no lawyerly anything. See, you get personal, and, and that's a problem. Because when we agree on something... You're getting personal by, by going back to 217. You, you, you brought me to get personal. Thank you. Do you want to hear what I'm going to say? No. I, 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 I don't want to hear anything you have to say after, after bringing this whole situation into here. Mayor, I'm disgusted with you. Mayor, you know, I, you know what I'm disgusted by? That when we get along and, and we agree on things, you're, you know, everything's fine. You're, you're buddy, buddy, no problem. The second you disagree with me or anyone on this council... You get very aggressive, personal, and nasty. That is not how this should work. Okay. That is not how this should work. You're doing it now. You've questioned my experience when you disagree with me. You've questioned that many times, even though I'm the second longest serving council member here, and I'm the longest one consecutively sitting here amongst everyone in the room. You, you, you throw that out there. You throw out that I was cold and heartless because you disagreed with me. Um, I won't go to the 2017 reference, but that time you accused me of politics because you disagreed with how I voted on the ordinance without any substance. This is not how we should do, should do business, Mayor. This is just not how we should do business. This is not out of the blue. We've we voted on this subject three times. It has come to a head. It is what it is. Well, I don't agree with voting on this tonight. Can I say something? Yes, please. I just want to say that I'm very disappointed that this didn't go through tonight. Um, I think the firm has done, and just for the record, and this is how I feel, I'm not saying anything against anybody else. We know how it works. Majority works. But I think they've done a great job for us for many, many years. Um, there was something I wasn't personally happy with, and I'll admit it, and I spoke my piece with the person, and I just feel like they deserve another chance for a year. There was a little bump in the road, but for all the years that everything went right for 20 plus years and they were by our side and always doing everything the right way and one time we didn't like something that happened and we're not giving them a chance for another year, I just feel that's not right. And like Dan says, everybody, all my colleagues have the right to feel how they feel, but for the record, I'm sorry that this didn't go through because I feel like they had uh, I would have given them the opportunity to have another year and see where it took us all. So that's what I want to say for the record. What I just want to say too is this is not something new. We've had conversation. Several council people expressed how dissatisfied and this was a big issue. This wasn't a small little thing. This was something that we're going to be dealing with a lot longer than we should have. We expressed that. It was something not new that came out. There was one other, two people put, put in for the RFQ, only two, but this was something that has been expressed over and over for several months, our displeasure, whether people talk to this person individually, it's not about the person, it's about the firm. And I think as respect to each other, we, we can agree to disagree, but I believe that when we go into a vote, it doesn't always go everybody's way, whoever, however they want it, but I, I think this was well thought out and well talked about in closed session. Unfortunately, it was closed, so I can't even bring up the, the reasons, but um, I, I think whoever felt the way they did, the way they voted, we should just move forward, Mayor. Thank you. Doris, would you like yeah. to speak in the, in the microphone, please? I got it. Got it. Microphone. Thank you. Um, I'm, I feel sorry that it didn't pass. 
I've only known Mr. Cavelli for three years, but he was there anytime we needed anything, anytime we needed, you know, Mike, he has no problem with him at all, helping Mike do everything that he needs. And to just tell him goodbye, you know, it's a shame because the Board of Education has him. Everybody uses him, you know what I mean? And for one, one, one mistake, I guarantee, I want to know if anybody else on this, on this podium has the races off their pencils because nobody made a mistake in their lifetime that you didn't, you know, feel sorry for and made a mistake and, you know, it wasn't your fault. It just happened that <clears throat> you, you know, you're thrown away. That's not fair because everybody in this podium has made a mistake and has gotten over it. And I think that they deserve a chance to stay this year and then next year decide it again. See what happens, what the outcome of what we have to go through, and then you decide next year. We're in the middle of something right now that we can't talk about, but I still think they should be here. Thank you. Thank you. Any other council person care to speak? Yes, Mary. I agree with the sentiment of uh, Councilman Golubek and, and uh, Councilwoman uh, Balistrieri. I think the, the displeasure of this council, well, of, of members of this council, of the way things were handled uh, by this firm uh, was way too large for me to confidently vote yes uh, to reappoint them. And the only thing I say to that, Mr. Fasola, is that we're talking about somebody that's been here, I, I'm guessing, 20 years. Um, a lot of us council members have not been here for any portion of that. So you don't, you can't see the whole picture unless you've seen it for 20 years, and that's what's disturbing to me. With that, if I could go back, um, again, we've come to a head. There's no, there's no sense in delaying this subject. There's only one other firm that put in. Um, what I'm proposing is taking the same exact resolution as 9621 and inserting everywhere where PIA was written, inserting the Scarocco Group Incorporated, which is the other firm. And just to correct Councilman Wetchler, this other firm is the one that handles the school district, not, not PIA. I'm just saying, I just, you made that comment. I'm, they're known to town, you know, and, and I'm, and uh, we were on the board when they were there. So like, you know, it worked out fine, you know. That's what I'm saying to you, Jamie. I made a mistake, but I didn't take my wishes off my pencils yet. No, I'm. To say that I did make a mistake. That's what I was trying to prove to you. I made a mistake, but my wishes are still not off my pencils. No, I'm saying, I'm just. One mistake. You don't throw somebody under the bus and say goodbye to them. Hey, listen, one it, it's, it's fine to disagree on this. No problem. No, I agree. But you know, we do this. We have appointments. A thing fails, and, and we and, and we have to move on. So I'm going to ask the the clerk once again, once again, and I'm going to consult with our attorney. We vote down one entity tonight. He wants to fill it in without any kind of discussion on this on this other person prior for, for me to see it. I mean, it's up to me to post these on on this. It's not. Oh, I want to talk to the attorney there. Yes. Um, so w with the risk manager, it, it doesn't need to be put out to bid, but it was. So we did receive two proposals. However, I will note that the third subject matter, um, I'm not sure if it would uh, apply. Standard across the board. 6% of the borough's annual gift payable by the what to blank. Southburg and Joint Insurance Fund, I believe they're in two separate funds. Yes, that's the problem. We may have to rewrite the resolution. They're in two separate funds, so it wouldn't. I, and I don't have the purpose of the motion can be Let's listen to the attorney here. Please. The motion can be made by counsel, proper second, and a vote can be taken for an appointment. The resolution can then be adopted. Isn't there some time restraints to a resolution? Actually, the vote can be taken. The memorialization of the resolution can be done at the next meeting. 
No, it was a, yeah. The appointments can actually occur tonight in the inflation house, but the resolutions can actually be redrafted and be memorialized at the next meeting. All right, thank you. We're in South Bergen Joint Insurance Fund, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, we're overcomplicating this. That's the that's the JIP fund that we are a part of today. So I'm making the motion, I appreciate all the feedback, but I'm making the motion to simply replace the name with the other person that put in and adopt 9621 as 9821 with the Scirocco group filled in in the place that that PIA is. Um, and if there's any issue that comes up, that's unlo I, I, I looked it up, there's no, uh, my understanding is there's no problem with the council dealing with this. Um, if any issue comes up, then an issue comes up after, but I, I'm entitled to make the motion on the floor, um, and I don't see a problem with this. This, this happens all the time, board appointments with, it, with uh, any kind of appointment. I would, uh, excuse me, Councilman, I would prefer to go the route as the borough attorney because I'm speaking making, from, motion to they are uh, in different funds is my point. We've had PIA and Garfield in my experience, and then we switched this, with this group and they are in two separate funds, so it would not be the South Bergen Joint Insurance Fund. Then I would ask to strike, strike the third paragraph. Now we're rewriting paragraphs here? We're rewriting paragraphs. What's the big hurry? What do you, Mayor, we've been dealing with this for four months. There's yeah. no hurry. <clears throat> this is what we got. You bring in an insurance company months ago here, out of Adam, I'm sorry I proved it and allowed it to happen. Now you want to take that same insurance company, okay, by, by virtue of the council vote, uh, uh, risk management, the professional insurance associations was not voted in. I get that part of it. I just don't like all this shuffling you're doing here to get their name on that on on a vote here tonight. That doesn't seem right to me for some reason. This been Mayor, this is the only RFQ that came in. It's the only other one that came in. So I suggest I agree that we should go forward because we need somebody there. You, we can't be without anyone. You do realize that that company was in here before we were having discussions about False. removing them? False. No, we, False. we've talked about it. Mayor, False. we've talked well, about it for a very long time. We've talked about the subject of our displeasure for a long time. So right. those words came out or not, but let's not, let's not kid ourselves. We've All right, spent so. every executive... Mayor, so. I, I, can I speak? Yeah, go ahead. But, it's disrespectful. You don't want to hear what I have to say, but I'm... I, 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 I really don't want to hear what you have to say on this. I really it's don't. It's not your choice, Mayor. Well, Everyone in here can speak. How long do you want to speak for? I'm not sure yet. Okay, well, go ahead. If you keep interrupting, speak. it's going to be forever. Speak. This is simple. Talked about it for a long time. One other person put in. This isn't going any other direction. It, it's not. It's had multiple opportunities to survive. It hasn't. So, however, you know what? However, I'm, I'm making a motion to appoint a risk manager. However the resolution needs to be written, I think if there's a concern about which fund it is, I think the intent of the resolution will, 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 will go with it. You know what I mean? Um, no, we don't. We don't know what you mean. Does the attorney agree with this procedure? That's what I'm concerned he about. He did say he does. We can make the appointment tonight. Wasn't that what you said? Yes. Okay. So that's, yes, that's our yes. first move. If, if you have a motion and properly second and vote it on and approve it, that appointment will occur this evening. The resolution with proper wording can be then adopted as a formality on the next meeting. Uh, Councilman Golubic, you made a motion. I second. Okay, so it would be resolution R-98-21, I guess, appointment of risk manager, C December 31st, 2021. There's a motion on the floor. By Councilman Golubak, seconded by Councilwoman Balistrieri, to appoint risk manager Scree Rocco Group. I don't know how to pronounce it. Can I just say something before we take a vote for anything? You know, we're going back and forth about this company and company and company. I heard something along the lines, Garfield hired this company because of politics. 
Is that right, Mr. Gullibeck? Well, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with it? Yes. Because they had no problem with Francie Ford. Cavelli. They had no problem with them. Because of the politics in Gardner, they changed it because of it. That Why? was like, like Why? five, six years ago. That has nothing to do with anything. Again, if you're going to make, you know what, Doris? You were 180 degrees the other way when we, this first came up. No, you I, were, wasn't. I wasn't well, for the company. You, I wasn't for the company. I was against French because he didn't come to church. Yes, I was. You were I was like, upset about French because he did not come and help you guys when you seen it. I did not say about the other company. I did not vote for him. I did not say I wanted him. You went for a change. For Frank Cabelli to come back and explain to us, I wanted him here to just tell us why he did it and why he didn't come through with it. And he explained to us. And what do you call it? We're going to throw him away after 20 years? I don't know when I thought about it. I don't even know about 20 years. Like, where is this even coming from? This is this is irrelevant to, we're dealing with taxpayer money here. Well, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm tired you. of taking taxpayer money and lighting it on fire. The borough attorney has essentially, to his credit, doing the job a risk manager should be doing the last few months. And he's done a phenomenal job. Right. And we're still cutting checks, and that money is literally going on fire because we're not being adequately represented. And I've made this point a million times. But you know what the difference here is? That if the vote did not go my way tonight, the way I felt, we would have been already done with the meeting. This is this is how it goes. Votes happen. Sometimes we don't agree, but we're basically filibustering the inevitable. Yeah. D Daniel, I have a question. You said to me last week when I voted, you said to me, "Oh, because it didn't go your way, because you know that wasn't my first, you know, appointment with Mr. Shakib." Because okay. you made the comment to me because I voted no for Shakib. And you said, oh, well, that wasn't my first vote either. You made a comment, too. Sure. But that wasn't fair. That, that's a lot different, and we can get into that one. That's a it's, lot different. It's still the point, Danny. We all have the right different. to speak our appointment. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying how I felt. I'm just telling you how I felt. Yes, I was upset with Cavelli for what he did. Yes, I expressed that every meeting that we went to. But it didn't say we could throw him under the bus if he made one mistake. Come on, Dan. You don't make mistakes? Everybody here I makes mistakes. I never said it was one mistake. I'm not pinpointing one mistake. I'm saying that we spend the taxpayers' money, and when they send oh, their... Don't okay. start saying about taxpayers' money. You wasted it, because I can name another thing where you waste the taxpayers' dollars on this, though. You want to go ahead. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that people send their money to us, right. and everyone that works for us right. should be 100% with us and for us at every single step. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let me just ask something. Why we we started into a vote? Why are we not respecting each other's vote? It's a discussion. What, what, that's, that's no, well, no, it's getting, it's getting. Look how it's getting. Right, okay. It's not a discussion. Well, you, this is big, Sandy. This right, is big. We started a vote. It's okay. It's not big. Well, it's You're not big to you big. because you, let me ask you a question. Is this does this firm work in Garfield right now? Oh, 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 oh. For the record, the firm that he's suggesting that he brought in here is working in Garfield right now. To and my point. Okay. and. And that conversation started well before, well before I was employed in you, Garfield. You? And number two, number two, I have nothing to do personally in my employment with health insurance or any kind of insurance in the city of Garfield. Dan, you're I'm a very smart from person. That. that doesn't smell a little fishy to that's you? That's not your place to, no, to point that's out. Not even a little bit? That, just a little bit? That does not, it's not Come your on. place to point right. those things out. Cool, you, you, know, you know, you need to stop interrupting, Mayor. You do not respect your colleagues. Your I don't You're, respect you tonight with this. Well, yeah, and you know what? And two days later, you'll be my best friend. You're no, all over I the won't. place. There never was. Oh, right, right, never right, was. right. I was cordial to you. Okay, good. So you know why? Because I know you inside and out. That's good. Why. And I know you too. Good. Well, I know, know you each too. Other. We should hang around together. Right. Can we move on? This is like inevitable. Like, like, come on. Okay. There Vote was is... rejected. I, I'm making a nomination. However, we have to memorialize it. The votes aren't there. It's not personal. It is what it is. Okay, so we'll more, we'll, we will memorialize it at the next meeting, but R-98-21, there is a motion by Golubak, second by Balistrari to appoint, I don't know how to pronounce it, Sirocco Group uh, as risk manager through December 31st, 2021. On roll call, council members, Balistrari. Yes. Fakori. Mm -hmm. Fasolo. Yes. Golubak. Yes. Pellegrin. No. Council President Wetchler. No. Motion carries. For the record, the borough attorney make a, a resolution that reflects the accurate um, information with that firm. Thank you, and we'll memorialize that at the next meeting. Thank you.
Moving on to departmental reports, Recreation Advisory Board minutes, February 4th, 2020, October 19th, 2020, Planning Board meeting minutes, December 9, 2020, Board of Health meeting minutes, December 14, 2020, Library Board meeting minutes, December 21st, 2020, Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting minutes, January 27, 2021. Motion to accept the reports, please. Second. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Uh, Mayor, we can all entertain favor. it all in favor. Okay. All in favor, I'm sorry. Aye. Aye. That's all I have this evening, Mayor. Council reports. Councilwoman Ballesteri. Well, I just, again, we had a, a wonderful night tonight. Um, I'm just so proud of these men. And, uh, you know, I just want to say that again. And I'm so happy that we, as a mayor and council, uh, did recognize them uh, in these heroic acts. And again, I want to welcome our newest police officer, Progress Mayor. Thank you. Mr. Fakori. Thank you. Mr. Fasolo. Yes, again, um, it was great to be able to honor the chief and Captain Lewinsky tonight. Uh, they truly appreciated it. Appreciate it. Um, also, I'd like to thank our DPW. I saw them out there a lot today, um, and I'm sure they're going to be going through the night with the, um, the ongoing storm that's going on outside. Um, I also want to thank the council for adopting uh, today, the recognizing June as LGBTQ Pride Month uh, in Elmwood Park. Um, with that, progress, Mayor. Thank you. Councilman Golovec. Progress. Councilwoman Pellegrini. Progress. Council President Wetzler. Yes, I'd like to congratulate our heroes tonight in our police and our fire department, uh, Lieutenant. I congratulate the new police officer. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to we'll come in on the snow removal and the last two storms. I think we did an awful good job. Good coordination, uh, Chief, uh, with our DPW uh, director and all concerned, the fire department also. A lot of uh, uh, comments, good comments, and less complaints. And I, that tells the story, right, Chief? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and one final say on this uh, risk management. It doesn't sit well with me. There seems to be no independence between Mr. Goldenbeck and this company. He works in Garfield. They're, they function in Garfield. They serve their, the municipality there, I believe, the municipality. And now it's being brought here to replace a, <laughs> a wonderful risk manager. Uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Um, all right, with that, I may have a motion to open for public comment. All in favor? Aye. Anyone from the public care to speak? Please state your name and your address. Jeffrey Fry, Chief, is it the five percent? Uh, no, it's paying for the. Got you. It goes to my person. My person. Um, the uh, second thing, the um, videos that are made each week, they're not going on. There's like a couple behind. Only the public meetings are on the television, not the work session meetings. I, the work session meetings are on the website. I send them to our 
uh, website provider, and he's the only one that has the capacity to put them up. So if they're not up, then maybe he's a little behind. Or are they supposed to mention that? Because they've only they've always gone on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I send them to him. I mean, they don't need to be on, but that's you. That's our policy. That's our policy. I send them. They they are not on the main page. You would have to go into the videos of meetings under. One missing or two? I think it's up oh, missing. I thought there was. But that's one Jerry is twenty first. Right. Um. Now getting back there, now I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I do have a question. Um. Regarding uh, the appointment of the risk manager, was this done through an RFQ? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did the RFQ, um, in the RFQ, did it say who, uh, what fund it had to be done through? I don't believe so. No. Okay, so it was non-specific. Mm -hmm. So it really wouldn't make a difference then. If he was in another and involved with another fund. It doesn't make a difference what fund they're in, but for resolution's sake of where we're sending our payments to, that makes a difference. That's what the third paragraph said. But they're involved. The uh, Corvelli was there. I know his name that was mentioned. But um, he's involved with the GIF, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there are different funds within that, that these groups are a part of, and they're both in separate funds. We would essentially be in another GIF with different Hold towns. GIF, but not the GIF. Yeah. Yet the RFQ so it's South Bergen Joint Insurance Fund. Right. So right now we're in South Bergen. We would be entering a different GIF with different municipalities because they're in separate ones. And it, it doesn't affect anything? It will be a large turnover for the staff here, but it was the same coverage. No, we've had it. No, I, I was making the, the comment that he has uh, accomplished things that would typically fall under what I, we would expect a risk manager to accomplish. That was okay, my comment. The other person was pondered? Th through the they end of... They were approved already? No. No, no the, other, the, the other firm um, ended December 31st. Oh, okay. So this... So maybe they're kind of in a, like a quasi, um, like, holdover status, but, you know, obviously we, you know... May, may, may I uh, clarify... Please do so, Sal. Uh, Mr. Prysak, uh, please. Uh, I am not involved with the GIF. I am not involved as a, uh, an agent or uh, a risk manager of any kind. As the attorney for this municipality. You're not from Garfield, are you? Oh, I have my Thank you, Jeff. Anyone else uh, from the public here to speak? <laughs> Maybe some ghosts? <laughs> if not, I'll close the public portion. Uh, may I have a motion to go into the executive? Second. All in favor? Uh, well, let me make note, please, that uh, there may be a formal action taken at conclusion of the executive session, and that would actually uh, bring us back in to... Yes. Uh, to um, there's very likely going to be voting on resolution, at least one after the executive. So whereas the Open Public Meetings Act, PL 1975, Chapter 231, permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas this public body is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the governing body wishes to discuss personnel matters and litigation, minutes will be kept, and once the matter involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires that confidentiality, then the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the public be excluded from this meeting.
Okay. We're good? Okay, we'll reconvene the meeting of Thursday, February 18th, 2021, to reestablish quorum on roll call council members Balistrieri. Here. Pecori. Yes. Fasolo. Here. Golabek. Here. Pellegrin. Here. Council President Wetchler. Here. Okay, after executive session. I'm here too. Oh, I'm so sorry, that's Mayor. Okay. Well, you know, that's kind of uh, payback for skipping for, Francesco I, no, earlier. I get it. I get it. I get it. Thank you. I get Ma it. Mayor Coletti. <laughs> We have a quorum. We have two resolutions, resolution R-99-21 and R-121. Uh, through you, Mayor, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve both resolutions, if everyone's okay with that. All right. And we should check. I'll, I'll get it, Mike. Uh, well, he's uh, checking, is there any opposition to doing both? Of these together? No. So, in a sense, it's a consent. Okay, so 99 21, appointment of special projects engineer, cost of engineering, and the general consensus okay. was the amount of to not exceed 50,000, and then R 100 21, approving settlement agreement and release by the borough of Elmwood Park and QBE Specialty Insurance Company and South Bergen Municipal Joint Insurance Fund and the Municipal Excess Liability Joint Insurance Fund. Again, is there a motion on both resolutions? Motion, please. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call a roll. On roll call, council members Balistrieri. Yes. Vicori. Yes. Fasolo. Yes. Golabek. Yes. Pellegrin. Yes. Council President Wetchler. Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Do you guys want to wait until March for the Millennium proposal? Or do you want to do something tonight? I don't have anything prepared. Yeah, I have it. Okay, Mayor, motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. And there's no discussion on that, right? <laughs> All in favor? Aye.